Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are diving into pink colors, pink balloons, pink balloon garland and it's gonna be one beautiful balloon garland. I've been asked to make a pink balloon garland. If you are that person, raise your hand in the comment section below. I'll be there to check it out. And if you want to see what is happening, what I did, how I did it, what I used, stay tuned and let's go. Here are the supplies that I'm planning to use for this balloon garland. I am using two different bunches of flowers. These tulips over here, I bought them for 97 cents at Walmart. And these guys over here, I bought them for $1.50 on sale. I love going through the sale section flower section and kind of picking a pretty flowers for my garlands. I have different shades of pinks. It is so hard to pick right colors. I tried my best and we'll see how these will look together. I have 36 inch balloons, 12 inch balloons, uh, 18 inch balloons, five inch balloons, and then different color of five inch balloons as well. I am using a 10 pound fishing line and absolutely my low heat temperature gun uh, for filling spaces on my garland. Alrighty guys, so let's start with our 36 inch balloons, 18 and 12 inch balloons. I'm going to blow them up uh, together and pair them, uh, mix in sizes, so kind of play around with all of these balloons. I don't know how many I would need. I will give you the whole count and quantity of balloons at the end of this video and I will list everything in the description under the video as well. Also, you guys, I am leaving my five inch balloons aside for now. I want to blow them up a little bit later so that way I would know how much of which color I would need. I have two colors, so I wanna wait a little bit. Let's go. All right, so I have two balloons and I am tying them between each other. That way I am forming uh, these balloon pairs later on it will be so much faster and easier to construct my balloon garland I am starting with my first cluster over here I want to start with the biggest cluster that I have I'm taking my uh, fishing line and tying my fishing line to my first cluster. My second cluster, putting right on top of my first cluster, pushing my second cluster closer, as close as I can to my first cluster, taking my fishing line and wrapping around once my newly placed balloon and pushing towards my first cluster. Again, taking my fishing line and wrapping around bigger balloon and then pushing my new cluster closer to my first cluster. To make this even more secure, I'm taking my, again, my fishing line and then going around my first cluster and pushing closer. Again, one more time and pushing it closer. Now I like what I see, it's pretty tight. And let's keep on working, taking my other clusters and doing exactly the same thing what I did with my previous cluster. Putting my cluster right on top, wrapping, pushing, wrapping, pushing. Okay, with bigger balloons, as you can see over here, there's space and I don't like that. Yes, you can absolutely uh, fill in spaces later, but I don't like that. I like my balloon garlands being very tight together and not showing any spaces. So I'm taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the bigger balloons that I have at the bottom and then pushing closer. Look at this. Already my, my space over here is closing. 
and then I'm gonna go around a different balloon again like from both sides to make sure all the sides doesn't have any spaces uh, I'm trying to show you uh, as much as I can and how I created my bumble the balloon garland because that garland was very different in shape so I'm trying to recreate it and show you what I did and how I did it so this one's good again it's taking another cluster and he keep on putting and tying and pushing another cluster on top wrap and push wrap and push and again I am checking around the balloon garland to make sure balloons don't have huge spaces between them if I do see a space I'm going around older balloons and wrapping more fishing line around different balloons With bigger balloons I like to wrap my fishing a line around bigger balloons and secure as many uh, balloon clusters to the bigger balloon as I can that kind of gives you a more of a tighter garland look like over here you guys look this is a space that I'm trying to get rid of so I need to wrap around uh, these balloons over here and wrap around the bigger balloons so uh, these balloons would kind of stick to, to each other and would close this um, gap between them. So wrapping around smaller, going back to the bigger and pushing again around smaller balloons. the big balloon. As I'm building my balloon garland, I'm trying to kind of place my balloon garland down as I did as I do here and that way I can see that this is the bottom and then I can see where I want to place my next cluster to create this unusual balloon garland shape. So I'm looking at it right now and I'm deciding. I think I want to go here. And this is how I build my balloon garlands. I hope uh, everything I said makes sense. Um, and yeah, let's, let's keep on inserting and working and building our balloon garland. My balloon garland is constructed uh, keep on holding to your fishing line cut a piece 
extra long piece and then to secure your balloon garland you with one hand hold your fishing line in your palm just like here I show right there and then with your second hand uh, grab the tail of your fishing line wrap around one of the balloons see still hold um, this fishing line over here by holding it you're creating this loop over here take that tail and feed it through the loop and pull on the tail and secure your balloon garland uh, do that a couple or a few times to make sure uh, your garland is secured and it's not gonna fall apart all right I'm good let's hang this beauty up my balloon garland is ready to be placed on my uh, backdrop. How am I doing that? I have safety pins pinned to my fabric, ones in the corner and two over here. So I'm taking my extra fishing line, wrapping this fishing line around my balloon garland and tying that fishing line to my safety pins. Also, if you don't have a backdrop and fabric like I do, try command hooks. I heard they are amazing and they will hold your balloon garlands great. And it looks like they're not damaging your walls. So if you ever tried command strips, command hooks on your walls, let me know uh, what you think. Do they damage your walls or not? So let's hang this beauty up. someone asked me uh, when is the good time to move your balloons in your garland kind of play around with them uh, you can I think the best time for moving your balloons in your garland is when your balloon garland is hanging on uh, the wall or a backdrop or anywhere you put your garland on at uh, so now if I want to move my balloons this is the time for me to fix everything that I want and then take my smaller balloons and fill in spaces. So let's see if I need to move anything and we'll move on to our next step. like what I see so far now let's go to our smaller balloons I will be using this balloon tire thing for tying my balloons and I'm not going to tie a lot of balloons in five inch probably like uh, 10 uh, of darker color and 10 of the lighter color we'll see balloons are ready let's fill in spaces with my low heat temperature glue gun let's finish this up My balloon garland is ready. Now it's time for these flowers over here. I'm gonna insert them uh, as they are without cutting them and uh, pulling them apart. So I'm taking one bunch at a time and kind of pushing into my uh, balloons without gluing them. You can absolutely, whew, you can absolutely glue your uh, flowers down. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to push them in as is and let's do it.
you guys this is my balloon garland look at this beautiful balloon garland i love the colors different colors in this balloon garland and also different types of of flowers it gives this balloon garland something extra uh it reminds me of wedding i don't know why maybe because of the flowers and it's a very summery springy balloon garland i love it all of the balloons are very nice quality i didn't have any problems with them very easy to tie and work with the only thing these balloons over here 12 inch balloons they are so soft and very delicate which is not a bad thing for a balloon to be soft it's even better but these balloons are incredibly delicate that my fishing line was cutting through them more than um usual and more than i've ever seen and experienced if you're going to be using any other uh string for building your balloon garland not a fishing line then it would be perfect for you if you'll be using balloon strip also uh these balloons will be perfect for you everything will be linked in the description under this video and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my pink balloon garland. I am in love with this balloon garland. It's very pretty, very summery and very girly. It's very pretty. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And as I said, I had a little bit of trouble with those 12 inch balloons. I think I was tying them way too hard with my fishing line. Next time, I'll just take it easy and I'm going to be a little more gentle with those balloons. If you do cut a hole in your balloons, just twist them, you know, kind of like a light bulb, kind of twist in one spot to get to that hole that you just cut and it's going to shut the hole and you would not lose any air in your balloon that that was my solution in this balloon garland and overall i really like the quality of the balloons and everything that i did uh hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new here you guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos all right i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye